Aleha Sanaya is with us in studio today, and he is our Lubbock High School Orchestra Director, but also the newly named co-director of a pretty cool yes. community group. So Alejo, thank you for being with us today. Of course, my pleasure, Aaron. Nice to see you again. Well, right back at you. You are a well-known musician in the Lubbock community, not only the longtime oh, oh, <laughs> long Lubbock High School Orchestra Director, <laughs> also playing the Lubbock Symphony Orchestra. Yes, yes, yes. But recently you were named co-director of the Lubbock Civic Orchestra. So tell us a little bit about what that group is about and what they are. Well, first, I want to mention that uh, Dr. Ryan Smith uh, was the one responsible for beginning the group a number of years ago, along with uh, Blair Williams from Texas Tech University. And they just, you know, they saw a need in Lubbock that we have so many musicians in the community that don't necessarily play in, for example, Lubbock Symphony or maybe get to sing in Lubbock Chorale or, you know, in, in, in all the maybe top performing ensembles. So uh, he, you know, they, they saw that there was a need there. and. It grew so quickly from just even even the first year. I think there was the response was wonderful, and and now we're ba ba a full orchestra. You know, we're filled out in all the sections. Uh, we could still use some cello players and some viola players. <laughs> That's right. But I think we're pretty much filled out for everybody. The response has been great. So we've got current teachers that teach in not only Lubbock ISD but I think even some surrounding districts that come in and play with us. We've got architects, engineers, all sorts of people, tech professors. And I think we were talking earlier and we just we discovered there were at least at least 10 Lubbock ISD teachers, um, uh, including yourself, that, that are in the group itself. So it's really been wonderful to work with uh, the adult population that, that still has all this passion with music and and they get to come, you know, once a week and explore that. And just to be a part of that is very, it's a, it's a big honor for me and Ryan and I, so happy and proud to be able to serve in that capacity. Yeah, and I love the fact that there are a lot of teachers that play in the group mm -hmm. because it's a way for them also, who don't get a lot of opportunities to play their instruments yeah. when they're teaching class mm -hmm. all day, to get a, to play something and have fun. Yeah, even as music teachers, you know, we're, you know, the kids are playing and we're trying to help them out and uh, it, to be able to go home and then say, okay, now it's my turn. And it's also gratifying because I obviously conducted my job with, you know, the kids at Lubbock High and, it's just different because a lot of that is teaching and, you know, you have to introduce concepts, certain concepts about ensemble playing and, you know, a, a million other things. But with the adults, a lot of them are also music teachers. It's, you know, you know that I know that you know that this has to go this way. And <laughs> yeah. it's really gratifying to be able to say, hey, let's try this. And everybody responds and everybody's watching. And it's just really gratifying. Probably one of my favorite things I get to do outside of school. So. Well, we have a concert coming up soon. Yes, we do. On October 29th at Buddy Holly Hall in the Crickets Theater. Tell us about the programming and why people should come. Uh, first of all, I think it's great that we're going to be in Buddy Holly Hall. I think we had been having concerts at Texas Tech Allen Theater, and it's a wonderful venue, but it's so large. You know, it's it's. I think the Buddy Holly Hall is going to be a little bit more intimate, a, a little bit more connection with the crowd. But you know, it's a Halloween program. Obviously, I, I believe it's on Tuesday, the twenty ninth. The tw Tuesday, the twenty ninth, at seven thirty. Yeah, <laughs> and so of course we're you know it's not we're not just playing straight up Halloween music, but you know music um, uh, music from certain movies. Uh, we're playing some Harry Potter stuff, some Spider Man stuff, How to Train Your Dragon, but also some more classically appropriate. You know, some Berlioz Symphony Fantastique. The fourth movement of that is really cool. Uh, also playing a really cool uh, piece called uh, Danzon Number no. Two by Mar uh, Marquez. Uh, that is not a Halloween piece, but it is very danceable, very very fun, uh, very f uh, fun way to end the program. And also, we are quite lucky to have Texas Tech violin professor Annie Shalix Boyle. She's going to be performing uh, Sans Sans's Dance Macabre with uh, switches, a piece that features solo violin, who represents, of course, the skeleton that kind of escapes at midnight, and they have a great time, you know, uh, frolicking in the graveyard until the morning. And so that's going to be a great piece as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's yes. a free concert. Free concert. Um, October free concert. 29th. There's also a costume contest for kids and adults alike. For kids and adults alike, yes. Bring all your best stuff, and yeah, it's going to be really fun. That's right. Well, for more information, people can visit the website, which is LubbockCivicOrchestra.com. Yes. But there's also a Facebook page that mm -hmm. has lots of great information. Um, so thanks for being with us and sharing some information about the Lubbock Civic Orchestra. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Of course.